Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. We are back with more FKA twigs, which is super exciting. And this one is called Perfect Stranger. So just like the last time, I'm going to be reacting to the music video over on Patreon. Thank you to everyone that joined the Patreon just to watch that video. That was, uh, I was surprised. I was getting all these emails pop up saying, oh, you've got a new member. And I was like, oh, that's good. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. And as much as I would love to put the music video on YouTube and so on, it, it just takes a lot more time and can easily be blocked. Uh, it, it's a frustrating sort of situation. And of course, the Patreon is my bread and butter, considering YouTube, I don't get to like, make a lot of money because of the copyright and so on like that. And oh, it's a whole thing. But thank you to everyone that did join just to watch me watch the music video, which was awesome by the way that music video crazy but yeah I'm going to be doing the same with this video as well but first of course for YouTube and everyone I'm going to be listening to the song first and then I'll be doing the music video so yeah if you'd like to become a patron then please do link in the description and yeah, then yeah you can watch me watch the music video amongst other things like uncut content early access content me reacting to horror movies that I've been doing this month. I've only done one so far, but the next one's coming towards the end of October, closer to Halloween, probably on the 31st. Super excited. I'm going to be watching I Saw the TV Glow, and the video that's already up is um, me watching Hereditary. Yeah, I really, really like reacting to films. I've only ever done it a couple times, or a few times, but I really enjoy it and I don't know why I don't do it more often. I think I just get overwhelmed with other pieces of work, but I might try and add it to, you know, what I do a little bit, for Patreon at least anyway, maybe just for special occasions. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm just brainstorming. <laughs> if you can't become a Patreon, don't worry. Please don't worry. There's always going to be content on YouTube and you can like, comment, subscribe, share the video, follow me on TikTok and Instagram where you get different types of content as well, whether it be pictures or just random TikToks that I do and so on like that. So yeah. And please do subscribe to my other channel called Fern Like The Plant. I haven't actually done anything on there for maybe a couple of weeks, few weeks now. I'm feeling a vent coming on. I need to like vent some stuff out about life. So I might update uh, the channel with a video just talking about stuff and being miserable and depressed. <laughs> great, great content. But you know, I think it's a good way for us to connect and for you to see a bit more of my inner world and who I am behind all this and what I go through. Because sometimes it scares me when I do have the disconnect of feeling like my, my life is actually, I'm feeling really, really down. Yes, I have therapy and like friends I could talk to, but, um, you know, I feel all these things in my personal life and then I come onto YouTube and I'm just reacting to music, which is actually a very lovely escape for me. And I really get into it and it, it's a huge distraction from life. It's, and it's really cathartic too. But sometimes I feel like, God, if you guys only knew what I was feeling even just like an hour before making a video or even five minutes before making a video, uh, I don't know. It's just more like connective for you to know me in that way, I guess. And I'm not saying like, I'm not trying to make it parasocial. It's just, I don't ever want to feel like I'm, I don't like hiding things. You know, I don't like being performative on a video and being like, hey, da 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 da, when inside I actually feel like shit, even though I am smiling on a video because videos do make me happy. You know what I mean though. Uh, so yeah, I might I might do a video for my other channel, Fern Like The Plant, just talking about stuff and just, just really rambling, you know? Because um, life's hard. <laughs> it's just hard, isn't it? But it doesn't have to be. And when you share and connect, it can get better. And actually, a lot of my stuff at the moment is to do with connections. A lot of my pain is to do with connections and lack of connection, sadly. But anyway, this song is called Perfect Stranger. Interesting. It reminds me of Madonna, Beautiful Stranger, which I love. But I have no idea what this will be about. But let's just get into it, like stop dilly dallying and going on about myself being self absorbed. <laughs> me, 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 me. And it needs to be all about twigs right now. I'm so excited to hear what she's got for us now because you sex you are. Mwah, a stunning song. I wonder if it's going to follow that same sort of 
feeling or if it's going to be a completely different, like, I don't know, like, is it going to, oh, it doesn't matter. Like I said, stop wondering, get to it. Right. <laughs> Perfect stranger, let's go. Okay. This feels like Kylie Minogue. Oh, we can make it work, but we don't know. We'll never hurt. It's true, strange. You're so perfect. You're strange. You're so perfect. Yeah. You're perfect, baby. You're beautiful. You're worthy. You're the best. And you deserve it. You're Her vocals, they're so pop and sweet. You're the perfect stranger. I don't know your friends or your ex's name. I really like that pulsating Really feels like 2000s, early 2000s pop here That vocal melody I love that. Perfect. Just with the the tension. Oh. Her vocals here. Almost feels like a different person. In that moment right there just felt like well number one what a release i heard it go whoosh, and i was like oh something's coming and then it hit to that real release and like just in that moment right there all the pain all the fucking pain that i have felt all day just had a little sliver of like a gap that it could escape through. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. That's what is so powerful about music. And FK Twigs has been so on it. Because, and I can say that now because you sex you were fucking killed. And now this one, different vibe altogether. But like most of the song, I was just like so like, wow, like flabbergasted. <laughs> just like picking up on all the details, just letting it come to me. And then that release, proper release at the end. There was many releases throughout, but that little bit just it just made me re remember like I don't know I don't know how to even describe it. it's just like a yes like sol solidifying how like I don't know it's I just I'm so grateful that I get to like listen to music and I don't know why I get sometimes scared to do a video just because I don't feel well you know and then but then I realized the video is going to make me feel better <laughs> it's not always the case like but if you've got good music it does that right and that just did it. That really did it. And sorry, again, like, yeah, to make it about me, but this is my experience right now. And I know it's, like, not overly analytical and it's more personal, but <laughs> I think you guys could probably relate. But, oh, I just want to hear that thing again. Like, obviously, I'm going to because I'm going to watch the music video. Yeah, I'm going to save it for the music video just to experience that again and watch the visuals with it. But what I'm going to do is have a little skim through the lyrics. And just see what I pick up. I'm not going to be looking into what they actually mean and all of that. I'm just going to quite literally raw dog it <laughs> and see what I think. So, I don't know the name of the town you're from, your star sign or the school you failed. I don't know and I don't care. I don't know the food that's your favourite now, your work or what you're working around. I don't know and I don't care. And that's okay with me to live my life with some mystery. 
please don't say that I must know and that's all right I say we're all getting through this our own way I'd rather know nothing than all the lies <gasps> just give me the person you are tonight Oh, so it really is a perfect stranger being like, I don't know anything about you. And I would absolutely like to keep it that way because I just feel a chemistry between us and whoever you are, even if it is a lie, even if it is a lie, I just want to enjoy it. Just who you are right now is good. And let's just make it work. And it even says, oh, we can make it work. What we don't know will never hurt. Exactly. Because you're a stranger, so you're perfect. I love this. And it really is like a moving sort of club poppy kind of song. It, it's like a hookup song in a way. Like, you know, being in the club, dancing and being like, seeing someone that you don't know and going and hooking up with them. There's something about it that is so freeing within itself. Like, you sex you were was like a freedom uh, there was a freedom to that and then this is it too M a freedom again of meeting a stranger and being and being brave and not caring about anything just just the moment you're perfect baby you're beautiful you're worth it you're the best and you deserve it you're a stranger so you're perfect yeah she's like all her trust and like maybe her um inability to trust is out the window and she is being like, you're beautiful, you're worth it, you're the best and you deserve it. She's not even trying to think of what they might have done or who they might be or their bad side. She's not thinking about that. Her distrust is out the window. She's just being open and saying, you are absolutely wonderful the way you are right now. I don't know your friend's or your ex's name, who left who or who took the blame. I don't know and I don't care and that's okay with me. I don't want, want to have the anxiety. Please don't say, so I won't know. Don't say, I don't want to know. And that's all right, I say. We're getting through this in our own way. Yeah, she goes on sale that love the danger let's love in what's unspoken let's stay right here unbroken i love the danger you're the perfect stranger oh it just sounds so freeing that i know i've said that already but it is when you get to know people it can things can go terribly terribly wrong so just keeping it as that like one special moment that you can remember forever and you just you can make up who they are basically that's kind of what she's saying like don't tell me who you are let me let me have this fantasy in my head of who you are and let me make that real yeah I get it because people hurt people it sucks but yes now I'm gonna go and move over to the music video portion I actually am so excited to see what this music video could be like I don't know if it's gonna be as good as the you sexual one that one was insane but Oh, I'm just hoping it's good. I, I mean, it probably will be, but you know what I mean. Right, okay. Moving over to the Patreon now. Back to YouTube now, just watch a music video. And in my opinion, I would actually say that it was just as good as the Usexua music video. Like, genuinely just as good. And different. Really interesting. It felt like it had some interesting messages in there that I was trying to depict and understand. But I felt like I was close, but not quite there. Oh, oh, I loved watching that though. Yeah, so I went, I watched the music video and then went through all the different um, scenes of it and was just talking about it. It was fun. But yeah, if you want to see that, do go to Patreon. But anyway, other than that, absolutely loved this song, <laughs> like so much. And I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. I shall see you next time. Bye.